Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I've got the la cards laid out here. I've already shuffled and uh, just to save me time on the recording and to prevent shuffling and getting distracted, I'm going to go over the spread in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to go over your initial messages. This is uh, the initial messages are just some of the things um, that are a, a little bit more minor that you're dealing with. Okay. So for this month, what I do feel is um, a lot of travels is indicated for many of you. I see you uh, shifting, like, you know, go, attending many, many social functions, many gatherings. It is the holiday season. So I feel like it's coming through as a result of that. A lot of you are traveling with family members, are traveling to see old friends, to see people from the past, especially like, you know, family members, old friends. I see a lot of sisters. And um, I'm also feeling like you're taking the kids with you in order to travel. What I also feel coming through is there might be some news um, regarding health issues like declining health, mental health or physical health as it pertains to a female member of your family. Okay, so this could be a mother, an aunt, somebody quite significant. I do see an older female coming into the picture, some health related to an older female in your immediate environment, in your family uh, unit. Uh, what else is coming through is they're saying like if you are in any situation concerning custody issues um, or you are in a disagreement whether or not to you know take the kids for the holidays or your ex-partner takes the kids I feel like there's going to be some smoothing out when it comes to where the children need to be how to take care of the kids how to shuttle the kids between one place and the next like one family unit your own family versus the in-law so i i feel like some some um i, I guess like compromise that's going to come through so it's going to be very very fruitful and i do see custody issues being laid to rest as well as um some some finality when it comes to custody issues or even like child support issues okay so that's coming in um i feel there's a victory from your end regarding children um, I feel like a lot of you are reassessing, you know, where you stand with a very, very dear friend. And I feel like this can be somebody that you're seeing that you're uh, romantically involved with. Or it could just be like a, a friend that is in your midst and you're getting a lot of communication from this person. It's uh, confusing information and you're trying to decide how you want to proceed with that friendship. Do you want to just stay friends or do you want to like something more? So I feel like, you know, uh, relationships that develop from um, the foundation of friendship is always good. I feel that the other person really does like you and they want more from you. So I feel like you're not ready to give them, you know, that that uh, wholesome commitment just yet. So you're trying to decide you're grappling with this, you know, decision as to do I want to continue, uh, like become more? Or do I want to keep them as a friend? I feel like there is an, uh, an offer coming through from a friend wanting to date you. Okay. And I'm sensing that a lot of you um, might be in a position where you need to turn this person down because you feel like they're not the right person for you. But either way, I feel like, you know, some, some, uh, decision here regarding a friendship that either can be taken to the next level or needs to stay as friends. So whatever way you decide to go, I feel like it's still going to work out well for you. Okay. Um, I feel like a lot of you are looking around for new, um, to, to try to reach out emotionally or even just, you know, socially to new people. You're starting to branch out. I see a lot of, um, new projects, a lot of new fun, excitement, ways of like entertaining yourself. So if you have been, you know, going through the bar scene and, you know, going out like dancing and things like that, I feel like you're no longer like uh, finding emotional fulfillment from that. And I feel like a lot of you are in a position where you do want to do more like, you know, recreational activities at home, either with other people, with your social uh, group, your social circle, or you are thinking of like more fun ways to spend your time. So that means picking up a lot of games, doing a lot of game night, doing a lot of trivia night is what I'm sensing and trying to, you know, uh, um, do more like, home projects as well like I, I do see um fixing up like do-it-yourself projects around the home involving children involving friends 
and mainly because I feel like you're not like you're you're trying to take better care of your health. You're also not interested in, you know, doing the bar scene anymore. So that's coming through for the younger viewers, I feel. And as well for the older viewers, I would say like, you know, 40, 50, 60s. Um, I do sense this um, wanting to travel, wanting to socialize, wanting to explore a little bit more. Um, the last message that I'm getting for some of you is that um, I do sense on the career front, um, I, I feel like this light bulb going off, you know, like um, that moment of clarity, that moment of vision where everything starts to make sense. It's coming in. And I feel like you're getting a lot of mental clarity pertaining like how to do something in the work environment. I feel like you have basically gained enough experience where the work environment starts to flow naturally. And I feel that you're in a position to where you understand everything that you can be called upon to train other people as well. So if there has been somewhat of a steep learning curve on the work environment, I feel like it's starting to plateau. It's starting to balance out and you're getting all the technical you know nuances surrounding the work environment and i feel like you're going to make great traction great strides in the work environment okay so it's looking very good so far so let's go into your reading here the first two cards that i have out is the princess of cups and the ace of swords now the ace of swords let's talk about this first the ace of course indicates some type of a communication breakthrough some type of like um a disagreement that might have been resolved through action through like um negotiations also through some type of contractual agreement it's linked up here with the princess of cups which is the page of cups a water sign a lot of you might have been going through some type of disagreement or some type of like trying to figure out where you stand with this person, trying to figure out like how to maintain or how to balance out that relationship. Because I do feel there are innate differences. There are uh, kind of like difficulties in trying to work together as a unit or try to understand where one another is coming from. So this is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is somebody that comes in with a very playful energy. And I do feel that the way they communicate, they need a lot of reassurance. They need a lot of validation. And I do see a little bit of like attention seeking from their end where they're not very secure and stable in themselves. And you're trying to find ways to um, either provide assistance to them, to provide advice for them, or like there might have been like a conflictual, you know, like um, interaction in the past. And this is the month in which you're going to be able to have some type of communication breakthrough in order to see, to allow them to see things from your point of view, but also in order to see things from their point of view. So I do feel some communication breakthrough coming through between you and a water sign. Likewise, you can get some communication from a water sign that will really, you know, um, allow a lot of insights, allow you to understand the past history that you have with one another. For some of you, this can be a mother figure. So like, I, I feel like a maternal figure coming through and I feel like somebody might be dealing with some health issues and they're coming through to tell you, hey, by the way, this is one of some of the things that I'm struggling with. Can you help me? And I feel like that's going to provide like a little bit of a, you know, an like they're saying like a, a an opening when it comes to re-engaging with this person if the interaction has been very conflictual in the past, okay? For others of you, this can be a uh, former friend of yours. And I, I'm seeing a very feminine energy with this co uh, this combination. This can be a friend of yours who you who has been living a distance from you. I do feel that this is a person that is coming to you for advice, mainly because they are like, I feel almost like um, they know that you're a very, very rational person. And you're able to give them a lot of insights, you're able to provide some type of like objective opinion, and they're coming to you. For others of you, if you're in any type of like mental health institution, you could be like a teacher. This is somebody coming through for you for mentorship. They they're they're lacking in a sense of direction. Um, they're I feel I keep seeing like you know somebody who is sick. So I feel like it could be like um, you know mental illnesses or physical illnesses, 
Uh, you might be working with them to give them counsel. And I do send some type of therapy breakthrough as well. If you're working with them, you're going to be able to gain some insight or to give them some insights as to, you know, understanding their motives, understanding where they're supposed to be, understanding what they have done in their past that might have like really hindered their ability to form healthy relationships or to take care of themselves in a healthy way. So I do see some communication coming through between you and a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that will allow them like a, a, a way or like a solution to their problems, okay? So on the one hand, um, somebody's coming to you, I feel like to for assistance, for guidance, for assistance. On the other hand, I feel like when it comes to your own emotional life, with the Eight of Swords here, it indicates a situation where we are very, very trapped and we're not really sure how to move forward because there is a lot of restrictions. There are a lot of um, blockages standing in the way. So you're trying to break out of these restrictions and blockages. And I do feel that you're trying to figure out a way to do so that is not disruptive to you and your environment. It's linked up here with the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups, usually, um, this is a wish card. This is a very good card that basically indicates, you know, short term, like whatever it is that you're hoping for, for this month, especially when it comes to like new ways to break you out of your rut, new ways to entertain, new ways to find like emotional fulfillment. I do feel that you're going to have a major breakthrough that will allow you to restore your sense in uh, faith in life, in people, in your circumstances, okay? So I feel for a lot of you... Um, I feel for a lot of you, you're dealing with people that are going through a lot of emotional turmoil in their own life, in the process of trying to sort out where, like how to help them. You are becoming very appreciative of all the blessings you have in your own life. And you're becoming a little bit more like aware or even like I, I see, you know, like uh, a vibrational state, uh, like raising your vibrational state when you're dealing with other people and you're trying to help them sort out, you know, the, the mess in their own lives. It makes you very grateful and it makes you very appreciative of all the blessings that you have. And as a result, as a result of that. I feel like you're not mired in this victim mentality. You're actually taking more charge and being a lot more happy and appreciative with everything that you have going on in your life right now. You know, the, the uh, financial blessing, financial stability at least, or even like the friends, uh, professional associates, family members that are around your midst, okay? So I feel like a lot of you, you're, you're coming into this realization that there is a lot of abundance and a lot of things to be grateful for in your own lives. And I feel this energy coming through around like the 10th of the month or so, where you are taking stock of everything that you have and you're taking stock of all the blessings in your own midst, like, you know, having a house, having a job, having a car, whereas other people might not have all these things. So you might have taken these things for granted in the past, but you're coming to a sense of newfound appreciation and personal fulfillment in your own life. Um, I do see like a lot of home decor. If you have recently moved into a new home, purchase a new home and things like that, there is, um, if you have been waiting on a decision of whether or not you have landed a house that you put a bid on, I do feel things happening, um, to allow you to move into the new home or to like, you know, uh, streamline the paperwork process so that you can achieve a new house. Okay. Um, what I feel is like some of you are decorating the house, furnishing the house. There might be some foundational repairs, like minor foundational repairs that is needed in the home environment. And I do see overall, there's a lot of movement from like a smaller house to a bigger house. You are trying to find for, for those with children, you might have like, um, you, you might have like children that are under the age of 10 and I feel like they're getting to the point where they're growing like weeds and they need um, their own room. They need the privacy. So I feel like you're shifting homes and you're getting a place that is a lot bigger that is, you know, able to accommodate growing children. So that's very, looking really good. What I'm also feeling as well is um, I see a lot of psychiatrists. I see a lot of like, um, uh, therapists, I do feel as well a lot of doctors um, in, in this in in this reading, and I feel like you're dealing with clients that might have per you know that that might have like depression, that might be like um, st stuck 
like they're they're tr they have children they might be stuck in some type of transitional housing and you're helping to facilitate them getting you know uh, proper social services in order to help themselves and in order to help their children you're getting them back on their feet so that they can be a well-functioning you know member of society a productive member of society and you're getting them out of um out of situations where they're in a jam and they're like trying to find legal counsel as well so i do see that coming through you're in a position of authority a lot of people are coming to you for your expertise for the skills that you have and i feel like you're doing so um to enable like you're helping people to enable enable them to function in their own lives okay and making better decisions overall what i do sense for other people is um just be very very careful um i'm getting you know overindulgence when it comes to alcohol consumption overindulgence when it comes to like food wine alcohol and i do sense that you're looking for ways to trim down like expenditures you're looking for ways to trim down whatever like to cut calories is what i'm seeing and to also like um figure out like trim down I, i'm seeing trim down costs associated with like going out partying all the time and, and and drinking and then others are trying to find ways to trim down like your weight you want to be a uh, to look a, a specific way you want to like dress a specific way or you're trying to trim down like excesses in your own life so that it's not really affecting your um your financial situation so it looks really good it, it looks uh, stable to me I, I do see a lot of new homes coming through uh, a lot of new places of living trying to declutter your environment give things away donating them to charity um, or even like getting new things and decorating your home environment okay so it looks uh, stable to me the next cluster coming through is the six of cups and the queen of swords so let me talk about this first because this is your energy. The Queen of Swords is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I feel like this is the embodiment of you coming through for this month. This is a very rational person. They can be swayed by emotions, but they usually keep their emotional state in check. I do feel one of the things you want to be careful about here is... Um, be very very careful that you are not filtering through things or looking at situation or even assessing situations based on like what you want it to be versus like seeing the reality so it's really important for you to ask pertinent questions when you are dealing with new people mainly because i feel like you you might have like been swept up in the moment if you have like a, a good emotional connection I do sense many of you are willing to gloss over a lot of things and the advice coming through from this card I feel is be careful ask about details ask follow-up questions so for example if you're looking for a new property right and it looks all nice and sound I, I feel like it's important for you to ask uh, questions about things that are hidden things that are like um, that that needs to be be brought up or that that are kind of like covered up such as foundations of a house such as you know when was the last major repair done when was the last remodeling done and you know the like looking at the foundation of something this can be in a relationship it can be with the housing situation so it's asking you to be very very objective ask all the pertinent questions before you make up your mind how you feel about a specific situation and or how you feel about a person before you decide to move forward with things okay so be a little bit more objective have a keen eye for detail so that you can like um i'm almost seeing like so so that you're not fooled because i feel like you might be you know you might see a, a nice sparkling new house and it had like very very quick cosmetics changes to it but the structural integrity is not sound or it's like built on a really faulty area like it's built on a fault line i see it built being built on a cliff or something like that so you really want to ask these questions before you invest fully in a new place of living um and then for others of you they're saying that you know with custody issues regarding children regarding like uh where children are going or coming for the holiday seasons i do feel that you're going to be able to get what you want as it pertains to like 
as it pertains to children even custody issues things are going to come your way when it comes to like child rearing practices when it comes to like if there have been has been disagreements re, uh, regarding children how to raise children between two parents uh, where to raise them in or even custody battles and things like that. I do feel that you're going to be able to make your case and they're telling you to be as rational about this as possible. Think about what's the uh, what's best for them versus like what you want. Okay, so this is not a month to take things lying down. It's kind of like a month to really fight for the things that you believe in, but doing so with logic rather than with emotions. I, I do sense that's going to... Um, bode well and it's going to be in your favor to do so okay so uh, be a little bit more objective when presenting facts when trying to make a case when trying to persuade other people and then for others of you i feel like you know this is a mercury uh, retrograde month and uh, the shadow period is going to span all through december so we're in the midst of the entire month is pretty much in the midst of the uh, mercury retrograde season with the six of cups here it usually indicates um, a past energy returning from the past, okay? And this is somebody that is coming back from the past, somebody that you might have left behind. And they are coming through as if um, trying to reconnect, trying to reconcile, or trying to um, make a reappearance in your life. And I feel like for a lot of you, you might have been dealing with a water sign. Excuse me for my uh, runny nose. Um, you might have been dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And I feel like somebody is trying to, you know, reemerge from the past. And they there is some type of communication. And I feel like you're not really sure what to do with this information. And your first instinct is, you know, jump in it and, you know, figure out, like, what they want. Your first instinct is uh, bombard them with questions. Like, hey, what do you want? And be very, very straightforward. Um, they're telling you to be a little bit crafty about this with the seven of swords here this is about being indirect this is about kind of like uh teasing out the details teasing out informations from the other person in a very indirect manner so i feel like if it pertains to another person f coming through from the past and there's uh communication and you're just like what do what what do i want to do with this information it's in your best interest to try to like you know Take a step back. Don't reveal so much of yourself. Don't reveal your cards and see what they want. Um, I do see for some of you who are a little bit younger, um, I see like drunken communication like um, f from a water sign. Okay, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This might be somebody you were romantically involved with. I feel like they've had too much to drink. There's like, I see text messages that might have been, you know, misspelled text messages coming through from your end. And you're just like, that didn't make sense. What do they want? And then I feel like that's just the, they're, maybe they're intoxicated or maybe they were just, you know, trying to get a rise out of you, trying to see, trying to like see how you're going to respond to them. So they send something very cryptic or they send something like when they're, um, not sober and there are like a lot of misspelled words okay so there is some attempts at communication coming through from a water sign and i feel like it's leaving you at a loss for words because you're not really sure what to do and they're telling you as well i feel like this is um this might be somebody even that you've had children with or you share children with it could also be uh, somebody from your past that you've dated. It just didn't really take off. And now you have a second chance to, you know, see if you want to re-engage or see if you want to let it go. Okay. So that's coming in. Um, the last cluster that comes up here is the Princess of Pentacles. So this is the Page of Pentacles, which usually denotes to me a new job. This is like a new training opportunity, a skills upgrade in order to secure a new job or in order to increase your income earning potential uh, at a current work environment. I'm also, it's linked up here with the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is kind of like... Um, this is a, a, it's not a great card. It indicates some type of sneaky behavior, some type of like underhanded dealings as well. So um, I'm going to talk about both of these cards as a unit. First of all, I feel like for some of you, 
Um, I feel that you are doing some type of training or some type of uh, performance review. You're under some type of training. You're doing some type of performance review. Or you are trying to like get a promotion or trying to like rise up in your work environment. And um, it's really important for you to like, I, I feel honestly, because you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords, you're a very no nonsense type of person. Okay, because this is your energy. And I feel like in your environment, um, even though you might have been at a place for a really long time, I feel like there weren't a lot of opportunities for advancement within that work environment. And mainly because uh, people didn't really look at the skills. They were looking at, you know, who is, uh, who am I compatible with? So there's almost a sense of like favoritism in the work environment. Like, um, they didn't care who worked hard or, you know, who was really good at their job. They promoted based on, you know, their emotional rapport with another person. So even if you're in a governmental agency, I feel like that sense of favoritism can still be there. And I feel like you're looking at this and you're just thinking that's not really fair. You know, I really put in my, um, I, I, like I, I put in a lot of work in this work environment and I feel like I'm learning all the skills necessary. So I feel like you're, you might be in a position to like, um, talk to supervisors or even, um, empl you know, managers in order to get some type of like, uh, recommendation in order to get some type of like good performance review in order for you to advance to that next level in your professional life. And I feel honestly that a lot of you, might be kind of sick of the favoritism that is happening in your work environment. So you're thinking about, you know, looking for work elsewhere, looking for another job, looking for another position out outside of the company. And once you land that, you might just like unexpectedly, you know, leave them behind and, and quit. So while you're doing the job, you're doing some type of clandestine covert, like, um, you know, job hunt. And I feel for many of you, you have a lot of skills that potential employers would really like. And so you feel like you're being underpaid in this current work environment and you're trying to branch out. You're trying to find options that are made available to you. So you're applying for a lot of places. And, um, you know, if you are currently working right now, I do feel that the next job that's coming through... I do sense that um, you want to reassess carefully uh, what doesn't seem like, you know, the, the most uh, striking choice. It actually can work out for you. So just branch out. Just don't rule things out uh, yet, mainly because, you know, this month it brings about confusing energy. You are also ruled by the planet Mercury. So it is not the best time for you to make these major decisions. Okay, definitely branch out and look for work and, you know, go on these interviews, but really sit still for a moment before you decide on which one you want to scrap away and which ones you want to uh, keep in um in the future for yourself just be careful about that because everything is pretty much up in the air for this month and what you see is not always what you get so i feel like it would be uh in your best interest to try to hold off a little bit uh what i'm also feeling is with this combination i'm also sensing like a lot of you have already gone through a major growth spurt when it comes to you know uh, where you are currently employed there might have been like a successful training uh, seminars or even modules that have been completed and at this point you're just like I'm not really learning and progressing in this work environment anymore so you're looking for something new you haven't done the whole job application process yet but I feel like you're putting your feelers out there to see what's available and I feel, feel like you're doing it in a way where you know you feel like oh I can make more money here uh, at this new agency. So I need to like, you know, start branching out and start like negotiating salary at my current place so they can match whatever I feel that I should be paid. So that's coming in. It looks very good. It looks very strategic. And I feel like it's a very smart move on your end. Okay. So if you feel like you could, you deserve a raise or you feel like you need to be earning a lot more based on your skills and your assets that you're bringing to the table. Definitely ask for, you know, letters of recommendation or even like performance reviews. And then if it's a favorable performance reviews, you it would be in your best interest to try to work for, um, to try to ask for a raise. So it would be in your uh, very best interest 
if you're thinking about that because I feel like you have a lot of technical skills you would be a good asset to any company so at this point it's really important for you to take care of yourself and you know really decide on what you really uh, need financially based on your position and what you should or should not settle for any longer okay and especially if you've been feeling like you have been underpaid for quite some time now what's coming through in your advice let's look at this situation first of all it looks very good with the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is a card about expansion okay this is a card about like learning new skills um, applying those new skills in a practical way in real life to solve problems that are coming through in the work environment this is a card about collaboration this is a card about like um, people sharing ideas uh, exchanging ideas and exchanging you know all of these things in order to find a solution a lot of the times it basically indicates like business expansion getting a new branch uh, expanding the business getting like a bigger venue getting a bigger house and things like that bigger office as well so I feel there is going to be a lot of success coming through for those of you who are um, either self-employed partner up with other people in order to like run your own business and things like that because I do feel opportunities for expansion opportunities for like hiring more people training more people that's coming through and you're going to be in a position where you are going to have to like uh, step into the spotlight in order to relay information a lot of you might be um, kind of like called upon to do some type of presentation um, I do see PowerPoint I do see a lot of use of technology and I see like projectors, PowerPoints, um, presentation. I do see like investment opportunities. Uh, if you're like standing in front of investors and you're trying to appeal to them, they say to be very, very clear and objective. It's It should be a rational appeal to persuade the other party rather than an emotional appeal. Okay, so that's the first thing. There is great opportunity for business improvement, improving your um expanding your business improving your skills training new people and people are coming to you for your skills and expertise um, first of all we do have the king of wands as well as the king of cups so for some of you you might be trying to decide you know you you might have a job here there is a sense of like loyalty to your current job but you know not getting enough like uh, you don't feel like you're entirely appreciated and you feel like the the current job there might be like that sense of favoritism and I feel that the current job might want to ship you further away in order to like work for another branch or run another branch or even like train at another branch and I feel like you might want to stay still so there are opportunities coming through on the work front as it pertains to like you know doing jobs or doing work that you feel is a lot more emotionally fulfilling for you there might also be travel associated with that in order to land that job so you're kind of like straddling between the two do I continue doing like you know creative work that is not very stable or do I work for uh, in another setting where you know the financial situation not, might not be stable but I'm a lot happier so you're grappling between these choices okay I'm going to do your love reading next but both of these indicates to me like some type of a love partnership as well but because it's a water energy and also a fire ener fire energy I feel like in a work environment you ha are having to deal with another person that is very very uh, different from you so it's kind of like fire and water and uh, both both of these elements are very like they're in opposition with one another so there are going to be creative differences in a work environment if you are collaborating one person wants this the other person wants this it could even be as major as one person wants to expand the other person is just like no let's just keep the status quo so I feel like this energy permeating in your work environment where you're you're you might be called to play mediator between people Okay, so um, I do sense that this is a, a good month for you to step 
up into the limelight in order to give your expertise in order to like be called upon to present whatever it is that you find or to present your ideas i do see it being a very very career focus oriented type of month so make sure you are dressed at your best you make sure you always have you know like if you're in an office and you tend to dress a little bit more informally it's important to try to you know have like that backup um, business suit dress suit whatever it is because i feel like some last minute um type of function where you need to like um, provide your expertise provide your opinion so that's coming through um let me see if there's anything else coming in. They are saying here that, you know, you're collaborating. They're, they're saying like in a work environment, you might be collaborating with a friend. And I feel like you, not only do you have creative differences, but I feel like this is a friend. So you need to find a very diplomatic way to uh, tell your friend that, you know, maybe we're not suitable for partners or maybe... Um, you know, find, finding a, uh, um, a sugar-coated way to tell your friend that maybe they don't have the best ideas even, okay? So I'm going to do your love reading now, Geminis. Let me see what's in store for you. Okay, so let me see what is the best. Okay, so let's talk about the tower first. So the tower is a situation, a relationship that is built on false falsity so it's basically false foundation false promises lies and deception okay and overall it, i say deception mainly because it's linked up here with the moon and the moon usually means that you know there's more to the story we might have been emotionally swept up in it and we might like you know choose to ignore the warning signs but the warning signs were there from the very beginning and because these warning signs were ignored there is some type of major revelation that um that that shook the foundation of the relationship and um i pulled out cards two cards to see what the the information pertains to we have here the five of swords and the five of swords usually indicates to me a person that you were dealing with that is very very difficult they're not cooperative they um it's hard for them to to collaborate with other people it's hard for them to compromise so i feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very very difficult and i feel like they were um, more about like themselves so it made it really difficult for them to work together with another person in a unit it's also linked up here with the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles when i see this in a love reading it usually indicates somebody who's very emotionally blocked they can also be very selfish they can also be very very controlling so i feel like you might have been swept away, like swept off your feet by a person. I feel like a lot of you might be dealing with um, an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, okay? And I feel like there has been a major, major stalemate as to how to progress with this relationship. I feel like it has gotten so difficult to the point where you would rather just walk away from it, be empty handed, rather than, you know, try to reach an agreement with them because you feel like they're very, very selfish. They're just, um, they're not bad people you know they're not a bad person it's just very controlling very selfish and it's very very difficult for you to uh, deal with and on top of that i do see some financial linkages still keeping you and the other person very stuck together okay so that's happened in the past which brings us to the present situation we do have the two of swords and the seven of uh wands so I feel like there might be some linkages still between you and this person and you're not able to like cleanly sever ties with them. The two of swords basically indicates a situation where we're kind of like at an impasse. Okay. So once again, this controlling energy, two people are unable to move forward. And with the two of swords, it's like somebody who is keeping other people at arm's length they're um they're very protective of their heart they're not letting their guard down they're not letting their feelings show so it's really hard for you to read them it's hard for you to gauge where they're coming from it's really hard to gauge where you even stand with them so i feel like you're dealing with somebody who is a little bit confusing um you might be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio as well 
who behaves in a way that is very like elusive and you can't get a clear answer out of them you might text them a, a certain day and then you feel like you know it's not out until hours later that they text you back but they don't really answer the questions that you um you have for them so i feel like a lot of confusing information between you and another person they seem to me to be very very guarded and so it's hard for you to understand where they're coming from it's linked up here with the seven of wands and the seven of wands indicates a situation where you have to battle it out okay so there's still some residual conflict there's still like you know problems seeing eye to eye with a specific person and this is a card about you know not taking things lying down fighting for what you believe is true and pressing on for answers so i feel like a lot of you had had inkling about something like some some major revelation might have happened for you within the past four months regarding a romantic interest and you're still trying to make sense of it i feel like you're putting all the pieces of the puzzle together but you don't have a clear definite picture just yet there might be like pieces missing here and there but you're getting getting the gist of it and you're starting to realize this wasn't a a rose um, you know, like this wasn't a rosy situation. I was like deluding myself. I made it out to be more than what it was. And I feel like a lot of you were emotionally swept up in a relationship. And there might have been a lot of lies, deception and, you know, falsities associated with that. And right now you're still trying to get answers from the other person. And I feel like the communication that they're giving you is very evasive. Okay. So the foundation is something that you know to be true. We have here the Four of Wands as well as the um, Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Wands basically indicates a relationship. This is a solid, stable type of a relationship. It's linked up here with the Ace of Pentacles, which basically means that, you know, a lot of you, I feel, is in one relationship. You might have another relationship coming through, like a potential suitor or something like that. And so you are reassessing, you know, do I go with the new or do I stick with the old and try to work things out? So what I do sense, honestly, a lot of you are separated. You have children together with a significant other from the past. And I feel like there might be even like assets linked up together. So you're not able to cleanly get away. A lot of you still have feelings for whoever it is that you were dealing with or are dealing with. You're trying to sever ties and there's new people that are coming through for you. But you have this innate sense of loyalty, like wanting to work things out, giving it your all until like it's uh, it can't be fixed. So I feel that you are trying your best to keep the family unit together, either for financial reasons or or for the children's sake and I feel like you're holding on controlling this situation in a very very protective in a very like um in a very like you know aggressive manner and I do sense depending on the signs that you're dealing with um there is room here for negotiation but I don't feel that it's by much okay there's a very very small opportunity um, coming through for you when it comes to trying to fix this situation you might need a mediator like some type of third party mediator in order for you and the other person to have successful communication or some type of breakthrough in the communication if you're dealing with a water sign i do sense that the feelings the intentions are there and that can be fixed however if you're dealing with an earth sign I feel like they are serious in, uh, about wanting to, you know, make things work, but I feel like they are very self-protected and they, it's really hard for you to understand where they're coming from. Okay. And earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. The crowning energy represents what you are thinking about, the person, the situation, the circumstances. We have, once again, a water sign. This is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we have this card here, Five of Cups, which indicates to me sadness, regrets, dwelling on the past, thinking about, you know, what you could have done differently, what they should have done differently, and how you could have fixed this situation. I do feel as well, because of all these, you know, um, transient energy i feel like there might you some of you gemini's that are watching this 
might have been involved in a situation where there were alcohol issues, there were substance abuse issues, either from your end or from your partner's end. So things could have worked out very wonderfully if you both were in your lucid state, but I um, were, in, you know, like in, a, in your sober state, excuse me. But I feel like there might have been some substance abuse issues that really affected the relationship. And as a result of it, like you both are trying to decide, you know, whether or not to, you can continue in this manner. Um, I feel like a lot of you might have been involved with this water sign, uh, Pisces, Sun, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And uh, the relationship is done and over with. You are now transitioning into an, uh, from a, a water sign into an earth sign or with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel that a lot of you are still getting some type of confusing information coming through from a water sign when you're trying to start your life over. And I feel like you might be hiding the communication. You might be responding. You might not be responding. But I feel like there's an element of... Um, hiding things okay like hiding the communication that's coming through not wanting to ruin the chances with a new partner when you still have communication from an ex-partner um, a lot of you are still thinking about this water sign and i feel like you're concerned you're very concerned about their health you're very concerned about their well-being they might come in to give you some information about their health and they might want to reach out to you in a friendly way but either way the communication that's coming in is kind of like unexpected unanticipated so you're not really sure what they're um, aiming for my advice is you know when it comes to communication between exes uh, when you read a text message or when you read an email uh, whatever is your first reaction right after you finish reading whatever your gut instinct tells you what their intention is that's usually the case okay so I feel like you know with exes we usually have this cord of attachment to exes and we can pretty much gauge and read them pretty well so whatever is coming through and whatever your gut instinct tells you that's what they want that's usually the case so don't over analyze don't read too much into it uh, it was there for a reason, but now it's like no longer in your life. So just be careful about reading into it, uh, too much into it, having this hopeful sense of, you know, hopeful thinking and, and thinking that things are going to work out the second time around. Okay, just be careful. So we have what's coming through here in your future. And especially for those of you who are single and dating, we do have here a uh, an earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you are recently, if you have recently encountered this person and this is like somebody brand new, I do feel it has a lot of potential. It is somebody that is taking a serious interest in you. I do feel like, first of all, if, if it's a brand new person, okay, brand new, no um, previous engagement or attachment, um, I feel that it can work out really, really well. And this is somebody that is very serious. They do take a really long time, but once they start to open up to you, um, they're a very reliable, stable, you know, like a very caring, loving, generous um, romantic partner. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If this is somebody you've been dealing with for quite some time, there might be some revelation that they are in another relationship, okay? So I feel like you might unknowingly be the third party or you might know that they are involved with somebody else and you're still choosing to get involved with them. I feel like that might be the case. So just be careful if you are dealing with like uh, an earth sign that is like coming in and out of your life and you might not know why. And I feel like this is the month in which, you know, some insights coming through regarding their um, relationship status. Okay. So I pulled out some cards for the seven of swords and the seven of swords indicates to me here, it's kind of like deception regarding electronic communication. Somebody is trying to hide their electronic communication. They are communicating outside of the relationship. Uh, they're getting solicited by other people and they're trying to hide that. Whether or not they respond, that's another story. But I'm getting here a lot of offers for dates that are coming through as well as, um, you know, like um, flirtations and things like that outside of the relationship. So I feel for those of you who are single, you have an earth sign, a new earth sign coming through that you might be communicating with from a distance. There might be like a lot of electronic communication and I feel that it's very, very fruitful if it's a new person. 
um, take it very slowly because I feel like you have a lot of other suitors on your plate. You have like, you still, some of you are still dealing with a water sign X who might be self-indulgent, who might, you know, just, um, I feel like drunken texts once again. And others of you are dealing with a fire sign, Taurus, Virgo, uh, I'm sorry, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So I do have heavy, heavy energy. All the signs are coming through. And I feel like either way with the new people, if you're dating this month, take a long time to get to know them because I feel like a lot of you might have gone into a past relationship in a very, very idealistic manner. You know, like you, you have strong intuition, Geminis. And I feel like a lot of the times you second guess yourself, you overanalyze, you overthink. And I feel that you give too much credence to a new relationship partner uh, without getting to know them. So it's really important for you to be a little bit more skeptical, discerning, take a little bit more time to get to know people before you make up your mind. Okay. Those of you in a stable relationship, I have here the marriage card or, you know, taking relationships to the next level. And I have the ace of pentacles. This usually indicates to me, uh, engagement. Okay. So taking a relationship to the next level and uh, uh, I, I feel like, you know, actual like wedding engagement and things like that coming in. And I do sense like you might be involved with somebody who has like a blended family. You might be a part of a blended family. So it's sort of like trying to get everybody on board. So I feel like the relationship is stable. And you're trying to get everybody on board in order to accept this union. So that's coming through a lot of engagements and things like that for those in stable relationship. The foundation is very, very stable for those in, you know, existing relationships. For those of you transitioning, be firm about, you know, if it hasn't worked out in the past, you're trying to move on with your life. And like, you know, you get a, a text from, from somebody and you're cycling back. I, I feel like it's... um. It's a reversal of a lot of the progress that you've made through this for this year. So, you know, try to aim to move forward and be a little bit more stringent with your criteria, who you're dating. And if all these red flags keep surfacing because we have like the moon in the past and, you know, another moon energy here in the present and also in the future, you want to be careful about, you know, not wavering in your resolve when it comes to like if you if you're done with a relationship, just let it go before you transition to the next one and if you're already in one relationship out of courtesy and respect um for your new partner don't communicate with you know the person from the past so of course the energy flows both ways and i feel like that can also come in vice versa from the person that you're seeing but i do sense that you know major revelations will come through to allow you to see whether or not your relationship is going to be stable whether or not you know the new person the new relationship is even worth investing in okay so there is some clear information coming through as it pertains to how to proceed with your existing relationship and relationship partners for those of you who are single I feel like you're still hung up on somebody from the past and they, they might have, you know, there might have been some drugs, alcohol issues as well. So that's the only drawback for this reading, I feel. Um, I do wish you all the best, um, Geminis. Take care of yourself and um, I'll be back for the mid-month reading. Hopefully this energy would clear up and then or even, you know, if we can get additional messages for this situation if you're dealing with it, okay? Take care of yourself and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.